So if you're like me, you've been scouring the web for anything and everything CX-50. Well, I've been diving deep into the, some of the same videos and websites that you guys have, and I wanted to share some footage, more footage, of the Mazda CX-50 that I'm sure you've seen, but we're gonna talk about it anyway, so stay tuned. More, 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 more car vids. More, 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 more car vids. This video that we're gonna talk about is of one of the two uh, demo vehicles, I guess, that they had for the reveal. And this was obviously set up inside of a display uh, for different press members, I'm guessing, to come take a look at. Uh, but this was, uh, you know, fortunately, it was recorded and snuck out. Uh, but I just wanted to take a deeper dive as we get a little bit more of a 360 look of the actual vehicle and uh, talk about what we can um, kind of speculate on a few measurements and uh, trim and things like that. So let's jump into the video. All right, it starts off here of the profile of the vehicle. This of course is one of those upper trim uh, premium models with the upgraded uh, sports packages, I've heard it. You get a little bit of a different wheel uh, with the two-tone paint there, the black with the uh, uh, machined outside. And the graphics here, these hood graphics are uh, going to be optional. Uh, on the vehicle, but may be in conjunction with this package. It is, however, a vinyl, uh, you know, automobile vinyl, so it could be removed if that's uh, something that you don't really like. I particularly like uh, effects like this, especially with the uh, cutout CX-50 on the hood. So as we continue around here, you can see that this is a longer, sleek hood, and I'm thinking that uh, it will be a little bit longer than what we uh, have in the CX-5 and what we have in the CX-30. So a longer vehicle means a longer wheelbase, which is something you'd want for more off-road uh, situations. And I'm expecting the ground clearance to be a little bit higher as well. I love these tail lights. Uh, just that, uh, that LED look there is very stunning really reminiscent of the front headlights on the refreshed CX-5. Uh, however, these headlights are gonna be a different look than the CX-5, still LED with the rings around them. I feel like this is a signature lighting for this model. And also, you may not see it as well here, but uh, I do see some uh, parking aid or sensors around in the bumpers. So that leads me to believe that this is gonna be, and even if you look right here, you've got uh, the turbo marking. So this is either a turbo model or a signature model with turbo. And I think that turbo comes with a couple of different um, interiors. This one, of course, is the black interior, which looks great with the Zircon sand exterior. Look at, As we look inside, you see the same uh, design there, seventh gen with the 10.25 screen, it looks like. And Hard to tell, but I believe that this back seat room is definitely a lot bigger than the CX-30, a little bit bigger than the CX-5. And here is a, a production photo here of that uh, vehicle that we just looked at. So you can really see the uh, sensors up front and again, the signature lighting, uh, the chrome accents, the garnishment. I think all those things go together. Uh, as we rewind the video a little bit, so as you can see, this setup here is really designed for accessories. Uh, you have all those things on the wall and the rack, of course, the paddle board in the back, the bike and other things. And this, this model and every model we've seen does have the crossbars and the uh, flat uh, cargo tray up top. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, this may be, if they follow suit with Toyota, which I'm not saying that they will, but uh, Toyota, of course, usually has like a TRD off-road or a trail model or some other things with their RAV4s and 4Runners. So it could be that this going off-road, going more rugged for Mazda could be their uh, trail model using their language, of course. But that would speak for the graphics, speak for the, uh, the, the rack up top 
with the cargo tray or the, the small loading area there and the wheels could be all tied together. Uh, I appreciate them sharing this information. Of course, it could be uh, the top, I think it's gonna be one of the top trim models because of the turbo and because of the premium. We know that the other model, as you see in this photo here, was the polymetal gray with the new terracotta. And I believe that terracotta is probably gonna be Napa leather. So it's probably gonna uh, be part of that signature package as well or something upscale, uh, whatever they choose to call this thing. Um, if it's not a signature model, it may be a turbo premium if we're following the CX-30 naming. Jumping back to the beginning of this footage, I believe the vehicle is gonna be a little bit squattier. What I mean by that is a higher uh, ground clearance than the CX-5 and the CX-30. Since we're on the CX-30 platform, I feel this bigger vehicle will be higher than the CX-30, but lower than our current CX-5. Um, just for that platform, we're stretching this out a little bit and then raising it from the bottom. And I think that uh, it's going to just sit a little bit higher uh, than the CX-30. Stretched all the way around, of course, as you see those beautiful wide uh, uh, fenders in the, in the rear and uh, just pushed all those wheels out. I think you will have a greater cargo capacity than the CX-5 and the CX-30 with better room for uh, your passengers in the rear as well. But you can also see from this profile here that the windows are gonna be following that CX-30 Mazda 3, kind of that slim window. The other reason it's not gonna be taller than the CX-5, of course, as we talked about in the last video, because they anticipate a lot of use of the roof rails and this uh, cargo tray or other type of baskets or other things off of the uh, crossbars. So they don't want it to be too tall uh, because you'll have some clearance issues, but also you wanna be able to reach it. The last clip we'll talk about here is the rear door. Um, you have that a little bit wider opening, of course, in that rear door, and you can use that reinforced door jam to uh, step up which is very convenient uh, to access items on top of the crossbars. A little bit difficult on the CX-5 if you haven't tried that before. Um, in this vehicle as well, you can't access anything from the rear, so the side is the best place to uh, reach that. And this vehicle, of course, was designed just for that. The last thing that I wanted to share with you on this wonderful Mazda CX-50 is in this turbo model, as expected, the towing capacity is going to be 3,500 pounds. So 3,500 pounds will get most of what you need to haul behind a vehicle of this nature. It won't be towing uh, campers, unless it's a little pop-up camper or something like that, but you can easily tow um, definitely something off the rear bumper if you just wanna haul some uh, coolers or other storage like that but it will not uh, tow much more than uh, just a weekend trip or something like that. Uh, you still would uh, need to step up to maybe our inline six or a V8 to tow some of your larger, even lightweight uh, campers. However, 3,500 pounds is almost double uh, the current uh, turbo setup on the 30 and the CX-5. So good job, Mazda of making this more capable uh, all the way around. So that's all I've got on this one. Again, uh, just continually finding more pictures, more footage of this wonderful vehicle, Zircon Sand, very nice. I, I wish I could find a video like this, more of a walk around of the Terracotta, but I'm sure it will come in due time. And we still have weeks and weeks until uh, we will see these things in person or uh, have more information from Mazda as production begins. That's all I've got on this one. Still keeping my ear to the ground for all the Mazda CX-50 and all Mazda news uh, while I'm here on the boulevard. And text me, comment below with any questions, and I'll see you on the next one. More.